I'm going to work. I have a call with my co-workers. Some of them are in Kazakhstan, some of them are abroad. That's why we have a Zoom call. You know, we all decided to work online because of the pandemic situation. Right now, we were supposed to be in America and help families with their kids' education. But the borders of both countries are closed and we had no other choice rather than staying here in Kazakhstan. And instead of making excuses, we started to work on our project, which is called Team Global Academy. And the main goal of our project is to provide a platform for the development of children through mentoring and learning life skills. This is kind of educational camp where children can choose school subjects and skills they want to improve and everything will be held in English because English is the world language and this is the third language in Kazakhstan and I really really demand it. We help children enter the universities of their dreams and successfully pass all the standard exams like IELTS and SAT. All of our teachers and mentors are winners of different Olympiads internship participants in America and Europe, and all the students have already experience in sales, teaching, and entrepreneurship. That's why we're pretty sure that we can impact the kids' lives and help them to become the better version of themselves. Tell me about your schools. I remember when I studied in a survival school, I started to feel kind of freedom, because you know, uh, before NIS, I have studied in three different public schools. When I started to study in NIS, uh, the regime was kind of strict, but at the same time, it gave, gave me lots of freedom. We started from the early morning to the evening. So, yeah, I attended different extracurricular activities like choir, orchestra, and even ballroom competition. Yeah, I really loved Bubble and uh, I was the captain of my team. Uh, I remember we were competing with different international schools like Galaxy, Tushi, and Halle Berry. Yeah, it was really, really uh, and, uh, fun. Yeah. Uh, then I felt myself more extrovert. It was kind of a turning point for myself and uh, it was a continuation of my life path. Currently, I'm a senior student of Nazarbayev University, majoring in economics. Besides my academic part, I started to develop myself in different spheres like art and sport. As I said before, I was participating in orchestra in NIS, and I continue to participate in the university orchestra. And my passion for playing Dombra helped me to become a coordinator of Dombra players. And even I was assigned as a Vice President of the whole University Orchestra. We've been in performing in front of big, big audiences, including the first president of our country, Nursultan Nazarbayev, and the president of our university, Shigeo Katsu. It was really a cool experience for me and for all the other coordinators, all the orchestra members. As for the sport, I go to the gym almost every day in the morning and I go to pool um, I was also participating in Taekwondo, Latina dance and uh, ballroom dance When I was 18, I was looking for different summer internships abroad. There were lots of opportunities, but I didn't see myself there. Then I found a company called South Western Advantage, which offers students to run their own businesses in the States by selling learning tools door to door to help families with their kids' education. But my parents were against that. They didn't support my intention to work overseas. And when I explained all the goals of the company, they agreed. The deadline of application was closing up and eventually I was the very last member of my team. At the beginning I was really excited about my 
travel to another country. Me and my team members got the New York, which population is equal to the population of our whole country. From the first time, I felt the difference in the rhythm of life, residence access, and I even got the cultural shock. But that was normal. I adapted very quickly. But the most challenging moment for me was the news that I got in the one week sales from Metro Tennessee. I had to live with American manager I've never met before and work by myself in the state where there are no fellows of my country. Although I made pretty good results in selling, I started to feel homesickness and loneliness. I remember myself waking up in kind of bad mood. When people judged me just like a door-to-door -door seller, I felt even worse and didn't want to knock on the next door. At that point, I was about to give up because I didn't deserve all the things that I was experiencing back then. Nevertheless, I figured out why I chose this tough job and was inspired by other successful sales managers who pushed me to do my best. That's how I changed my mindset and finished this internship successfully. It all turned out to be an amazing adventure for me. I was invited to business conferences in Turkey and Hungary. I went on incentive trip to Egypt and attended an international leadership seminar in the States. Right after the summer, I was assigned as a manager for the next summer and started to recruit the best students of Kazakhstan prepare them for this internship and selected the most focused even ones among them and became the number one recruiter of the entire company and thanks to my team I entered the superstar group as a top team leader.